Peter Schiff, the dollar will collapse. America living beyond its means is coming to an end. Money manager Peter Schiff says even though there is record debt everywhere, the Fed thinks the economy is fine. Schiff explains, the actual amount of money the government is borrowing is much larger than what they pretend they are borrowing with the official budget. I think the national debt was up around $1.5 trillion in 2018. Dot. It's probably going to be even greater in 2019. Dot. Dot. We have the biggest annual trade deficit ever in 2018. We're going to beat that record in 2019. So, we have the twin deficits going off the charts. None of that worries, Fed head J. Powell. We have record corporate debt, record individual debt, record student debt, auto debt, credit card debt and none of that concerns Powell. We have record debt for state governments and municipalities. We have underfunded pensions in both the public and private sector. We also have interest rates rising. They have risen quite a bit from a few years ago, and all of that is an added cost on an over-leveraged economy. The reason the Fed did this about face, the reason they are now patient and the reason they stopped raising interest rates, dot, is all about the United States. It's all about the enormous debt we have. The Fed inflated a bubble where you had all this debt. It's impossible to normalize interest rates in this scenario. So, they came up with an excuse to stop, but what the markets still don't realize is it is not enough. The Fed is ultimately going to go back to 0%. The Fed is not going to shrink its balance sheet. They are going to blow it up bigger than it was before they started to shrink it. There is no way to stop the recession and no way to stop the bear market. They are going to have to go back to the but I don't think the Fed is going to succeed in blowing a bigger bubble. Schiff goes on to say, I think when they start to try to reflate the assets in stocks, real estate and in bonds, they are just going to prick the dollar bubble, and that's when we have a real crisis. Dot. Dot. The dollar is going to collapse, and America's days of living beyond its means is going to come to an end. On gold, Schiff says, I think this is the calm before the storm. People don't really perceive it. Maybe it's like the wild E. Coyote who has just run off a cliff, and he just hasn't looked down yet. He doesn't realize where he's standing. Dot. Dot. Gold shorts are going to lose an incredible amount of money. That's probably one of the most foolish things you can do. There are a lot of great things out there to short. Gold is the last thing you should be shorting. For central banks, gold is the safest reserve asset. It's the only asset that is not somebody else's liability. Dot. Dot. I think the world is going back to gold. Dot. $5,000, $10,000, per ounce, who knows how high it's going to go. There is no real ceiling on the price of gold because there is no floor to the value of the dollar in other fiat currency. Dot. Dot. Gold is going to skyrocket. And silver? Schiff says, look at last time. Silver went up to $50 per ounce from $3 to $4 an ounce in 2000 to 2001. Gold went to $1,900 per ounce, but silver went to $50 per ounce. It was a much bigger percentage gain. Dot. Dot. If I am right about gold going to $5,000 to $10,000 per ounce, I am sure the percentage gain in silver will be even bigger.